Good morning. Today, I'm heading off to a very, very special place. Hopefully, if I can find it. I gotta go catch a bus. I'm very excited, the snow is coming down. It's big, big, delicious snow. I'm ready for an adventure today. Let's go. All right, I came to the Tourist Information Center to try to get some information on the bus, and they're not open yet. Opens at 8.30. It's 8 o'clock now, but it's snowing and it's beautiful, so I can't be frustrated. Oh. This looks good. Breakfast, yogurt, coffee. I just had a Japanese potato. All right. <laughs> I just had a great little breakfast at this place. Just a guy and a woman sitting there talking in Japanese, which I didn't understand much of, but it was still really funny. Uh, now, hopefully, just waiting for the bus. Should be here in about 10 minutes. Then we're off. Man, I'm really hyping this up. I hope this works. In travel, I never get too excited before something happens. Uh, anything can go wrong at any moment, so if you stay level-headed, don't get too excited for what's gonna come, then I feel like you're more prepared for if any situations or issues do arise. Just my own personal strategy, but it's hard not to be excited about, hopefully, what, what's about to happen. All right, I'm back at Iyama Station now, waiting for the 10.15 bus. It's about 9.15 now, so I got about an hour. So we wait around for a little bit, and then we catch the bus. Whew, hopefully this works out. I was just getting yelled at for something. No idea what. I paid the guy on the bus, and then they seemed like they were confused, and then they let me go. But I'm here now. I think this is the entrance up here. And I think now I just go this way. There's nobody around, so I really have no idea where I'm going. It just keeps pointing. I think this way. In the mountains of Japan lives the Japanese macaw, or better known as snow monkeys. And that's because they're the only other non-human primate to live in such cold climates. And just like humans, in the winter months, these monkeys have found a way to beat the snowy conditions. And that's by way of taking over a natural hot spring up in the mountains. Something I had to see for myself. It's starting to snow now. And this is beautiful. Look at this. I feel like I'm in Narnia. Only about one kilometer to go. Let's hope they're in there. Let's hope we can find them. I made it. I made it. Look at this.
Mission accomplished. That was one of the coolest animal encounters I've ever experienced. A long time ago, I saw these snow monkeys in a National Geographic magazine, and I thought to myself, one day, I'm gonna go see those guys. And a few months ago, I started planning and thinking that this is possible, and Japan came up on the radar, and I said, this is the chance, and I did it. And to accomplish that goal, to, to have that dream and then go out and, and do it is an incredible feeling. I had no idea what I was doing. As you saw, even, even today, even on this trip here, I didn't know what I was doing. I just took a bus and found my way. And somehow, some way made it happen. And it feels good. It feels really, really good. Well, look at this guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. What's up, boss? How you guys doing? Water warm. What are you guys up to? Just monkeying around over here. Oh no. Right in front of me? Oh man. Guys. Come on. 